Wow. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, thank you, Ashley, for your kind words tonight and for your friendship over all the years. Um, thank you all for being here tonight to celebrate 20 years of Africa. As Ashley has uh, probably given in the introduction, I grew up in northern Tanzania in a region called Arusha. I was one of four girls. My father is a mechanical engineer, and my mother worked as an administrative assistant. My parents encouraged education and independence, so my sisters and I attended local schools and worked very hard to be the best versions of ourselves. But I was lucky. That is not the normal experience of most young women in Tanzania. More often the case, young girls grow up believing that they are weak, that they are less important than their male counterparts, and that their main purpose is to take care of family. A girl will grow up believing that being confident and determined is rude, that asking questions signals a lack of respect or manners, and that her worth is proportional to her potential to be a good wife, mother, a homemaker. Girls hear this from men, from women, and even from their teachers at school. Even I heard it. Once, a relative who was dismiss dismissive of my education told me, you're a pretty girl. You'll have a husband and be pregnant by 18. And they meant it as a compliment. If you're surrounded by people who do not believe in you, how can you believe in yourself? I had access to education, access to a quality education near home, but the school was very poor. Until we received local government support, funding, and other donations, our classrooms were made of buckets, turned upside down. It was not comfortable. Um, we had only gotten electricity about a year before Ashley's visit, and we hoped that one day we could add computers. We were excited to receive the computers that Ashley came to deliver because they meant opening up our academic world. Students could learn how to code, how to, to do broad research through the internet, and how to put together resumes to showcase their skills and build careers. When we met that day at school, she took a genuine and immediate interest in me. She believed in my dreams and took steps to make sure that I could access the resources I needed. When I heard that my application to Emma Willard School was not only accepted, but that I would receive a full scholarship, I knew my dream of becoming a bioengineer was really, truly going to happen. When I arrived in the US to attend Emma Willard School in New York, I had new challenges to face. First and foremost, the cold. I had <laughs> never seen snow, <laughs> much less have to drudge through it on my way to class. But as I progressed through my academic career from Emma Willard to Lake Forest College to University of Illinois and then to the workforce, I faced a challenge I hadn't anticipated, my race. I honestly never thought about my own race until I came to the US. In Tanzania, I was simply a woman. In the US, I am a black woman, and my race and sex brought challenges I never expected to face. People assumed things about me that were not true. Teachers and peers assumed I had received my scholarship because of my race, not because of my intellect. My college advisor only recommended that I apply to black colleges and universities implying that I should only consider colleges where I would fit in. And as you might imagine, there are not a lot of young black immigrant women working in the field of bioengineering. But once again, I had the fortune of being able to turn to mentors who had experienced and navigated these challenges. With them in my corner, I overcame the challenges I faced and I reached my goal. And that resilience has made me stronger. That is why representation and lived experiences are so important. Girls need living, breathing examples of what is possible so they can see that possibility in themselves. 
That is why I admire so deep. That is what I admire so deeply about these mentoring, mentoring programs. Every mentor is a university, uh, university educated Tanzanian woman, and more than two thirds of Glammy mentors are also alumni of these same mentoring programs. As a bioengineer today at Baxter, I am challenged and appreciated and lifted by my mentors. In fact, I have four mentors at Baxter. But I am also a mentor myself through programs at Baxter and my alma mater at Lake Forest College. I believe so deeply in the power of mentorship. And I plan to leverage my position as an Africa board member, as an engineer, and a Tanzanian to help as many young women as I can to realize their potential. I truly believe that if we can see her, we can be her. I came to know Africade at a time when it was focused on providing scholarships and direct support to Tanzanian schools. But I'm also so proud to know Africade today and to help champion its support for robust mentoring programs that transform the landscape of opportunities for girls. So thank you for being here. Thank you for believing in the power of mentorship. The work you're supporting this evening through Africade is so important. Every girl needs a champion in her corner. That tonight, that champion is you. Thank you. Thank you.